Jiggy Cat On a damn feeling spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And me hanging like a centipede Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today And as the title states I'm going to be teaching you guys on what is exactly Auto Plugin And this is an official PlayStation Vita Slash PlayStation TV homebrew guide For you guys to watch made via by me For today's video This is not a true installation guide On how to basically install it Rather than it's just a quick overview and synopsis About the actual program itself If you guys are interested Basically for a um, guide and a full tutorial we want to install auto plugin via the latest build i will have a card right now showcased on the screen and you could guys could you know watch that video after this one and i will have the um video in the link in the description down below if you just want to go ahead and install um you know auto plugin via that way but for today for new people who are into the modding scene and have no clue like what is auto plugin here is a general definition that i made for it so Auto plugin is a program for the PlayStation Vita as well as the PlayStation TV that contains the latest plugins for such as, or such things as no NPDRM, refood, repatch, and so much more. So if you guys ever heard of no NPDRM dumps, um, basically that plugin is contained into this program. Um, it allows you to basically install plugins so you can get more out of your PlayStation Vita. As well, auto plugin allows you to install multiple plugins at once, which is pretty cool. Before back in the day when there wasn't auto plugin, um. You what you basically had to do was take your config.txt file, add all the skprxs manually, and sometimes if you typed it in wrong or if you didn't, you know, basically set it up right, it could take, you know, a long time to get your plugin set up, which could cause errors to the Vita if you didn't, you know, set it up right. But with auto plugin, it does it in like measly in like five to ten minutes if you're installing multiple or even a minute. Um, as well, auto plugin allows you to install. Um, already said that. Oh, uh, auto plugin allows you to also install you know plugins via your memory card aka ux0 as well as euro zero so depending on your preference so that's just kind of a general synopsis and just you know a summary on how to basically what is auto plugin but with that being out the way as well in terms of auto plugin if you guys are already you know starting to like this video from here i do have other homebrew guides that you could check out i have one on vita show i have one on RetroArch, and as well i have one on um, adrenaline so if you guys did enjoy this video and guide you could go ahead and check out those for um you know later on but as well i just want to give a you know synopsis or not a synopsis just state some prerequisites for you know today's video so all you need is a modded playstation vita that's already hacked so whether if you're using the trinity hn core hankaku um you know hankaku enzo exploit as long as your playstation vita could run unsigned code you could do this anything i'll state in any useful links of course will be in the link in the description down below your system could be on firmware 3.60 to 3.73 for this process process as well you need the latest build of auto plugin so when i'm recording this as of december 8th 2019 um the latest build is 4.11 so i will have a link to that as well and you'll need a wi-fi connection just for um auto plugin to always update as well to of course transfer the file over i just want to give a special thanks out to tcb for helping me create the series and just without him i wouldn't be doing these type of videos for the community so shouts out to him don't forget if you need any help you could go ahead and feel free to join my discord but with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on the PlayStation Vita and showcase about auto plugin. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all of the steps into the intro and listen to what I had to say about the actual guide, we're going to go ahead and just talk about auto plugin for today. I will have the latest build in the link in the description down below. So if you already know how to install VBKs and such forth like that, you could go already ahead and install it. So here is auto plugin not VBK made by the Hero GAC. This is version 4.11 as I'm recording this. So let me go ahead and open it up. And what I'm going to do is just give a general synopsis of, you know, what plugins are in plugin or some plugins that you should, you know, look forward to having in your Vita. So one plugin, if we go into uh, to actually install the plugins, you can see that there are many in here. So if I scroll down the list, there's probably like, I don't know, 30 or 40 plugins. But the ones I usually um, focus on is 
no NPDRM. So, and this is the official flow version. So I will go with the one that says version 1.2. If you guys don't know what no NPDRM is. So basically if you have a no NPDRM game dump from online, or if you're trying to dump your games from an another account and you're trying to via use this no NPDRM, this allows us to run up no NPDRM backup games onto our Vita. So we could play them on basically, um, you know, without having the actual license or purchasing it. Not that I could do piracy, but this plugin allows basically um, but to bypass any DRM protection as it states here. Another plugin that I do recommend um, people uh, checking out as well is Repatch. So if you're into um, fan translated games or if you like to have repatch content or mods, this basically enables game patching and basically it bypasses any minimal firmware requirement for a game's patch. So I do highly recommend to go ahead and check this out if you're into fan translations as well for for like a lot of Japanese games this is what I use um another um plugin that I you know it's a must-have if you're into uh, trophy hacking as well so if let's say you having trouble in a certain part of a game and you're trying to been unlocking this trophy but you're just you know tired with it um this uh trophy uh hack uh basically this plugin will allow you to unlock all the trophies for a set game so if you're in the trophy modding you can use trophy hacks for that um one thing what i'm recording off my playstation vita right now i am using um this plugin called udcd underscore uvc this enables you to stream your playstation vita via with um a usb cable which is perfect and that's how like it's you know streaming right now for you guys to see this is what i use you can use something like obs so if you're into like streaming playstation games or playstation vita games and you're uploading on a youtube channel or you're trying to do a tutorial or something like that you could definitely use this since this is what i'm using to record via right now so that's a cool plugin to have another must have plugin i would state um i'm trying to find a few right now is not repatch but refood okay so this is very important if you're on a device like mine so if you're on 3.60 to 3.65 refood what it allows you to do is play games that require on a higher firmware so for example um i'm going to be using catherine i know that game released via when the playstation vita was on 3.69 so for that game to run normally you would have to be on 3.69 firmware however for me i'm on 3.60 so without refood i would not be able to uh, you know play games that are on a higher firmware with refood once i install it via by like you know hitting x or whatever um you could go ahead and you know be able to play games that require a higher firmware speaking of um just some other plugins right here i'm just trying to like cherry pick a uh, dualshock 4 by zerpy that basically allows you to control your vita with a dualshock 4 controller so if you really want to go ahead and play like you know a fighting game and you're really into fighting games and stuff or you just prefer the feel of a dualshock 4 controller that allows you to do this via with this plugin um same thing with dualshock 3 uh one plugin that i am going to be showcasing later on in tomorrow's video or today's whenever i upload it is psv shell it's basically a plugin that allows you to overclock your playstation vita and those are just um some of the main you know plugins that i recommend people having i know i was rambling on about plugins but let's go ahead and talk about on how to install plugins to your device so it's fairly simple on how to install any plugin i'm just going to go ahead and either showcase um, a plugin that i want to install so let's say i want to install repatch all you got to do is either hit x or either to toggle l and r if you want to transfer your um, plug into ux0 if you have your tie folder there or your 0 what i'm going to do is just toggle it to your 0 since i already have it on there and that's where my plugins are located all that you have to do on how to install a plugin is hit x and then that's how simple it is to install a plugin and then all you have to do if you want to do another one such as refood to scroll over it to it hit x and then voila it's been installed that's how easy it is rather than doing it via the manual way and you know having to open up your config.txt and installing all of your plugins that way this is a much easier and simple way on how to do so i just did another one um for adrenaline it allows you to run it with a single touch so i install that plugin let's say if you want to uninstall plugins you can also uninstall them via ur0 and from your kernel and stuff like that so all you have to do is hit x to uninstall i'm not going to uninstall any of my plugins but that's how you uninstall them um 
you can also configure your plugins for SD to Vita. So if you're having SD to Vita um, as you know secondary storage or as your main storage, you can already do that for that well, or you can do that as well for this process. If you want to update your plugins, since I'm on the highest update, I'm not going to click on that. But if you wanted to update this program, you could just hit X for that. There's also, um, which is pretty cool, if you're into adrenaline and PSP emulation on your Vita, you can install plugins for your PlayStation Portable. So there are some cool plugins right here. So the ones I'm going to focus on is install remaster controls. Um, basically what this does for a uh, certain title such as like Grand Theft Auto, Kingdom Hearts, and Metal Gear Solid, it allows you to use dual analog sticks, which is so such a great thing for um this process. So let's say if you guys remember playing back on a PSP, some games were hard because you never had that, you know, that right analog stick to turn the camera. So you had to use the shoulder buttons. I know it was like that in Kingdom Hearts. But by installing this plugin via in UX0, UR0, um, UMA0, or IMC0, you could go ahead and, you know, play your games with do analog sticks, which I usually do when I play Kingdom Hearts on my PlayStation Vita. So that's something cool you could do. And um, you can just install it as by hitting X. So I'll just show you guys on, I installed that one and it updated the game.txt. But yeah, that's essentially the basics for um, auto plugin. If you want to deal with some extras, you know, config some stuff for PKGJ, um, add a custom boot splash message or a custom warning message, you can. You can also for um, this process, if you speak any other language. So if you speak, um, you know, Chinese, Japanese, Russian, there's also some things that you can translate auto plugin. So if I wanted to translate in another language, I can also do that within here and in the way um, save translations. But yeah, this is essentially on all of the cool things you could do with an auto plugin. Basically, all you would have to do is restart your device and all of your plugins will show up on your Vita. So hopefully I did a great job on, you know, explaining, you know, some major or some main plugins I prefer that, you know, I usually tell people to install. Plus, I showed you guys on how to actually install them to your Vita. And hopefully this guide did showcase on a lot of questions or, you know, it asked a lot or basically I gave you answers to your guys' questions. With that being all out the way, my name is Nagato and I'll see you guys in the next video video thank you guys for watching hey everyone it's me nagato's adventure hope you guys did enjoy today's video with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well it's another method on how you will know when i drop my latest content whether it be for the vita ps4 ps3 and such and so forth as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace